first time in several days that these chickens are allowed out. Came down yesterday because they didn't come down in the morning because um, I wasn't, um, I was out of balance. And um, I left them just with access to the small run. Came down last night to put them away and the gold broody was um, out with them. And they're, again, she's out today, so I'm really pleased. There were two eggs in the shelter, so she'd not been drawn in by the eggs. I just wonder whether this cooler temperature has made uh, done the job. They're eating elderberries. <laughs> and also testing out sheep poo. <laughs> so, but the elderberries have dropped off, a few elderberries have dropped off the tree and that's what they're eating before they come out. Um, so that's a relief. Maybe it's the cooler weather because it's quite autumnal. It's The top temperature today is going to be 22, um, which I'm really happy with. Very pleasant. Nice for all of us. Nice for you, Ida, yeah? So I haven't checked her, um, and we will do in the week, because we oiled, we oiled him. His left. Le right foot is red as you can probably see it's difficult because he's so feathered so, so we oiled his feet a couple of nights ago night before last and he'll need doing again so one foot's fine and one isn't it's probably quite clear so yeah I need to keep an eye on him and we'll check um, we came down too early and they were still walking around inside the the coop and it's difficult to catch them when they're not when it's not dark so we'll come down when it's dark so that I can catch the black hen and um, she'll be roosting and it will be easier to catch <clears throat> I'm still making um still trying to get my starter going I'm not doing very well my sourdough starter can you hear those swifts? Hirondelle. They're up really high catching insects. They'll be doing that a lot now, getting themselves ready to go home or f fly to North Africa, which is where they overwinter. Don't know whether you could hear them over the sound of Scroats van. Oh, chickens are interested in something. Um, yeah, so still working on the sourdough starter. It's not doing that well. It has done, but then I don't do it the correct. My sales, my scales broke. I was making bread the other day, conventional bread. And you start off in the bread maker, you start off with um, oil, then water. That reminds me, I need to put some on now. Oil, then water, and then your dry ingredients go on top. So I put the oil and water in the pan because I, I stand the pan on the scales, the bread pan. Um, walked away. Oh, that was it. Put the oil in the pan, walked away to get the water, came back, put the water in. And I reset the scales each time and then started to put the flour in and realised the scales were counting upwards when nothing was happening. Nothing was being added. And... I had to eyeball my um, flour amount and that worked. It was fine. The bread was fine. Um, and then I started sorting out the sourdough starter, which is supposed to be measured as well. You know, the 100 grams of this and 100 grams of that. And um, scales were counting up again. And if you didn't have anything on them, the scales were counting up. I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. So I've ordered new ones. Um, but yeah. Um, so I, I've been uh, sort of having to eyeball the, or you know, with, decide on what consistency the starter should be. Um, I think it's supposed to be a bit like thick wallpaper paste. <laughs> what are you jumping for? <laughs> I can hear somebody. Oh, she's going up there to lay an egg. That's okay. She won't brood up there, I don't think. You're not going to brood up there, are you? Hey, eh? sure? No, good. So yeah, I need to put some bread on, and because it will be a while before we actually get to be making sourdough. Oh, 
I'll pick some more brown leaves maybe later. They're just falling off the tree and the other apple tree up the top, they're falling off. I need to check that. What's that about? Huh? I need to check the other tree really because that's the eating apples. It's such a shame when all the apples drop on the ground like that. Because as soon as they're on the ground, it doesn't take long before they get um, insects in them, wasps and things. And then you have to be careful walking around on them that you're not going to get stung. <coughs> I slept, as suggested, I slept on my back all night. It was um, trying. I did it. But every so often in the night you rouse yourself and move and turn over. And so every time I woke up and roused myself, ready to turn over, I had to stop myself. And that was um, not easy. I did it. Um, so I'm looking forward to... See, look, that's been already... I've just picked that off, but that's already got insect damage. Um... Yeah, looking forward to tonight when I can sleep normally. But I'm not dizzy today, so I'm really pleased. Not not off balance at all. I've still got um, still got eggs. I've still got apples indoors waiting to be processed. Oh, look at that! That's a nice one got a little bit of damage to it right I'm gonna go and make some bread I think Ida's probably much happier with this temperature I do wonder whether the animals look at me as if to say can you turn it down please whether they think I can control it <laughs> 